what's up everybody welcome back to the channel it's your boy before we get started do me a favor hit the like button slap the subscribe button leave a comment turn on the bell help your boy out so today I didn't get as much done as I'd like to but story of my life um, the car is up in the air um, cars up in the air and because this is a um, an East Coast, a Northeast Coast car. Um, we get a lot of snow, so what I did was I soaked all the bolts to do the front subframe and the rear subframe removal this upcoming week. Um, I will make sure I have all the necessary tools, which isn't much, but still, I'll make sure I have all that. And then, um, cause I heat my hood garage with uh, a salamander, I gotta make sure I fill up on Caro, have everything ready to rock. That way I don't have to fuck around, stop, do this, do that. I can just focus on getting the front and rear subframe out and get it fucking done and ready to rock. So, with that being said, um, right now I've got the car just sitting on um, jack stands. There is a tire on each side underneath, just for my own personal weirdness, safety, but um, like I showed you, so I'll show you guys now what my, see that's, so that's what my fucking brakes are looking like, straight trash, um, so that's why I ordered all fresh jumpies, it's because of that nonsense, I'm not going to have nice wheels with some cruddy ass fucking uh, calipers and fucking rotors behind it. Well, the calipers will stay. I'm fucking. I just meant rotors, but yeah. So, new rotors are coming. New fresh jaunts. New fresh pads. So, that'll all be uh, getting put on and shit. So, made a list of what's got to get done. I know it's a huge laundry list of bullshit, but hey, it's what you got to do, dog. Um. The point for this video mainly um, is I wanted to touch on a few things. Uh, I've been doing this live thing. I started it on Wednesday. Um, it's been cool. Talked to a lot of cool people. A lot of followers, you know. I appreciate it. Um, just had to send out a few stickers this week. That was cool. I'm glad people are starting to buy them. Um, really means a lot. Uh, so I want a couple. I want to cover a couple things about um, the brand. I say it. I say it over live to whoever I'm talking to and um, shit like that. Um, I was influenced to start a brand um, like a static only brand because back in the early 2000s when I first got into cars, that's what I rocked and. Um, Back then, we didn't have all this nice, fancy one-piece stuff. We had fucking Coney's and fucking eBay coils. That's what we ran. Dump that thing on its face, throw some fucking cool wheels on it, and let it rock. Back then, having three-piece wheels wasn't such an obsession like it is now. Um, people did have them. They did look just as good as they do now. But it wasn't a necessity, so my... You know my attitude towards having real wheels to be cool and fucking you know make sure that you got clout was never a big thing and clout wasn't a big thing either like there was no facebook there was no fucking instagram none of that shit we had fucking myspace okay um the other thing is too is like i don't care if your car has rep fake fucking fraud foobar fucking fugazi fucking fuck I don't give a shit if the car looks good you're a decent fucking human and you smoke I don't even care I mean the smoke thing I don't give a fuck if you do that's on, that's on you man I love staying stoned can't stand not being stoned but if the car looks good and you're a decent human dude fucking chop it up back in the day nobody cared about fucking whose car was better than the next everybody wanted to have everybody Everybody wanted everybody to have the same shit. Even though everybody's pockets are different. Okay? Everybody's pockets are different. Everybody has different responsibilities in life. Okay? And and jobs, you know. Fucking 
Jimmy over here might have a job that pays him 20 an hour where fucking Jimmy's only got a fucking job that pays minimum wage. So the chances of him having shit better and quicker over for fucking Johnny are better for fucking, you know, are better. But that's okay. Just because Jimmy can only get reps doesn't mean that he's a fucking shitbird and fucking his car ain't shit. Nah, fuck that. Fuck that. And all these people that are chasing clout and all that shit, man, fucking, at the end of the day, you gotta remember, your car is the one getting the clout. Your car. Not you. The car. You're probably a fucking dork, and that's what it is. Not everybody, but I'm so sick of seeing the fucking support those who support you fucking hashtags from some of these big time dudes that will not support you back. Like, it's bullshit. The bashing is bullshit. Like... You need to fucking uplift everybody. Not knock them down and fucking... Like, when I started this, I didn't... Because I'm behind... You know, I had to start life over again three years ago. That's a whole other story in itself, but whatever. I had to restart my life three years ago. I, I was never really into Facebook, Instagram, fucking any of this bullshit. Um, I lost contact with cars and all the shit I used to love doing because of my life choice. Um... You know, and I've hurt people along the way, and I, you know, it's a shitty feeling. But I'm past that. I don't like what I see. I can't change it, but I can, you know, hopefully fucking change the minds of some people. Like, you know, like, try I remember with my Civic that I just saw. I had an 07 Civic Si. Um, it was kind of ugly when I started trying to get attention for it. I, I tell you, it was ugly. But then... My plans were starting to come together. I put an 09, 09 front end on it. It had so the the fenders were brand new, the bumper, the grills, the lip, fog lights. So everything was black. The headlights were actually smoked black. That's how I bought them. Um, the car is silver, so the fucking hood, the roof, and the trunk and the rear bumper were all silver. Where the quarter panels, because I had to fucking do the body work because they were all janked from being rolled and cut. So, finally when I did the body work, and I had it slammed where I wanted it, I would catch shit because my car, A, wasn't all one color, B, fucking had rep wheels on it, and C, my picture quality wasn't the fucking greatest. I don't give a fuck about any of that. If I take a picture, and it is fucking decent, and you can see it, you can see it, okay? I don't have people coming out taking pictures for me, which I have... That's fine. I would love to have a photo shoot one day. Um, it's just, it's crazy the fucking, I'll call it politics, that play a part in fucking the car scene. Um, it's just, it's crazy to me, you know. Um, there's just too many. There's just too many politics in fucking the car scene. Way too many. Um, and here's the other thing, like, I, I mean, I follow, and this is the other reason why I wanted to stand out with, like, my name and stuff, Dump Stars. I was, I've been using Dumped since fucking the early 2000s when I was doing static cars before static was even fucking cool. Um, and, uh, you know, because I thought about doing a static something, but then you've got so many other static something pages. I'm not saying they're bad because I support some of them. Some, you know, some support me. Um, I've talked to a couple of the dudes that run the pages. It's cool dudes. Um, you know, but then there's a couple dudes that don't even acknowledge the fact that fucking you've even tagged them, DM them, fucking whatever. And that's the aggravating part because, you know, why can't you fucking. There'd be people that I. Pers or not personally, but there's people that I talk to through Instagram that have been blasted on such pages. How come they're good enough to talk to me and support my shit, but you're not? You know what I mean? Just kind of kind of fucks with you for a minute. Um, but it is what it is. And, the, you know, in, in starting this page, I, I told myself that I wouldn't just fucking... You know, I would try to give everybody a shot. You know, I do all this shit by myself. 
So it's kind of hard to like, you know, juggle going to work and, you know, coming home, doing, a, you know, weekends, doing a video, um, you know, working on the Lexus, uh, you know, now the Monday roller clips, which have been great. It grows every week. Um, I'm so thankful for everybody that uh, emails us or DMs us videos. Big shout out. Um, same thing with people that have been buying uh, sticker merch. Fucking really appreciate you guys. Uh, but I was never, I was going to try my hardest to not turn anybody who was slammed static wise away because of how their car was or the parts they had on it. Like my Civic had fucking, we are likewise six speed official, um, Canon, Nvidia fucking, you know, it had all name brand parts except for my fucking wheels because I had Aohan DSO3 wheels gold, which, uh, you know, as soon as I fucking sent a video in of my wheels and didn't get acknowledged, somebody else did with the same fucking wheels. And, you know, awesome for them. We actually talk, you know, I, I consider him a homeboy, you know, but it's not his fault. It's just, it's politics, you know. I don't care if your car has a dent, a scratch, you know, if there's primer spots. It shows the growth of the car, you know, like, I mean, I understand some people that's not for everybody, you know, but hey, if that's what you got and that's what you can come out to play with, you know, that's what, that's what you're bringing to the table. Fuck it. Who cares? You shouldn't have to worry about your car being fucking a certain way because somebody else isn't going to like it. If you build the car for you and somebody else doesn't like it, that's too fucking bad. It should never change how you build your car. I've seen it too much where people get bashed on about how their car looks and then they make it look like everybody fucking else's. Like, nah, build your car for you and fucking nobody likes it. That's too fucking bad. Tell them to fucking beat feet. So, but uh, I'm going to be getting live here in a little bit. Um, I just want to, you know, break some shit down, go on a little rant. Um, next week's video is going to be pumped. So, yeah, catch me on live. Oh, wait. Stay stoned, stay static, stay humble. I'll see you guys later. Peace.